tribute from Perez Chapel International to Elder Brigadier General Constance Ejeni Afienu. Now the laborious task is over. Now the battle day is past. Now upon the farther shore lands the voyager at last. Father, in thy gracious keeping, leave we now thy servant sleeping. The news of the departure of our beloved sister, Elder Brigadier General Constance Ejeni Afenu, came to us as a real and rude shock. Elder Constance never failed to testify of the goodness of the Lord as the Lord started opening doors for her. It will interest us to know that any time she traveled and returned, her thanksgiving to the Lord was always overwhelming. In fact, two weeks to her demise, she was in church recounting what the Lord had done so far. Amazingly, even though she was called an elder in the church, she enjoyed working as an usher, firm in her belief that the way in which we as a church handle people who came to service was a major factor in whether or not they would feel at home. Standing here with all who knew and loved Elder Constance, we are confident in the knowledge that God, our master and true rewarder has taken her home to rest in readiness for her imminent decoration with a glorious crown of many stars. The leadership and membership of the entire Perez Chapel say, fare thee well, Elder Constance, and we ask the Lord Almighty to keep you till we meet again. Elder Constance, our dearly beloved sister, rest in perfect peace. Shall we please rise to welcome the President of the Republic? gathered here this morning to mourn the passing away of our dear sister and friend, Elder Major General Mrs. Constance Ejeni Afenu. Second Samuel chapter 3 verse 38 says, Then the king said to his men, Do you not realize that a commander and a great man has fallen in Israel this day? Let me borrow the words of King David and say that indeed a commander and a great woman has fallen in Ghana this day. Our dearly beloved Major General Constance has gone to be with the Lord. Benjamin Franklin famously said, nothing is certain except death and taxes. However, in spite of the certainty of death, after 39 years of being in full-time pastoral ministry, one thing I've still not gotten used to is the death of a loved one or a church member. It is, it is particularly difficult for me when the deceased is someone who was very notable and committed to the church. 
Today is one of such moments for me because of the kind of person Elder Constance was. True to her name, she was constant in her service to God, her dedication to the church, and her great love for my family and I. We have examined some of her achievements today here. What can a preacher say to console her bereaved family? Alleviate the pain of those that mourn, strengthen the faith, faith of those that are disappointed, and encourage a nation that has lost one of its most brilliant stars. One story comes to mind. It is the story behind the famous hymn, It Is Well With My Soul. Major General has demonstrated that one can be in the army and still fear and serve the Lord. In conclusion, I would say, although it is true that her demise is very painful, let me throw a few thoughts that will hopefully bring some relief. Firstly, that God knows why he allows Christians to die. According to Isaiah 57 verse 1, he says, The righteous perish and no one lays it to heart. And merciful men are taken away, none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come.